Hello Pisces! Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your new moon reading for October 27th. I hope that you have been doing well. I've been kind of skipping around a little bit on the readings and doing kind of half here half there because it's been so busy. Um, but I'm back and uh, let's do this, right? So uh, the new moon is about new beginnings. It's the beginning of a cycle, but it also marks the end of the previous cycle. So we're going to look at what's focusing, what's focusing, what's coming into focus for you, what you could be focusing on, um, um, intentions to be setting um, to start off this new cycle. So this is the new moon, October 27th. And, um, you know, the energies around it as well. It's not specific to that date, but we're looking at the beginning, the first half of the cycle. We will take a look at the second half of the cycle on the full moon reading. If you're new here, my name is Melissa, and I do new moon and full moon tarot readings, as well as every Monday putting out a video on a metaphysical topic. So there's videos um, about crystals and smudging and astrology and meditation and some other stuff in there there's a lot of that stuff but mostly crystals um but if you're interested in checking that out i put all of those videos in a playlist and the link for the playlist is in the description box below as well as the link to the decks that i use um, in this video so oh now how am i gonna get that card it's way over there i'd be right back worth it <laughs> it's the lover's card Okay, so this is the energy for the new moon. Okay, what is Pisces dealing with for this new moon? Pisces energy, this new moon, okay. Hmm, I feel like this is a good time for you, Pisces. Anything else for Pisces overall energy for this new moon? No. Okay, so we have the lover's card. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> from this deck is very lovey-dovey very romantic um twin flame stuff uh i hate that word that well, those terms whatever um but could be could be do you know a divinely guided we have this angel up here this big bright sun bright light shining on it um i feel like this is a divinely guided partnership um, regardless of whether or not it's romantic, I feel like there is a partnership. I need to adjust my chair because I'm not sitting correctly. It's going to hurt my back. Um, but a divinely guided partnership. And then we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so the Three of Cups is a celebration. This is um, emotional growth. It's, uh, to me, this card kind of looks like a coven of witches, the power of three and all that. Um you know it could be but they're having fun that you know i feel like this is this is a happy time for you okay um let's see what other cards come out and see if we can uh, wrap this into a pretty little story for you all right what should pisces be focusing on for this new moon pisces focus for this new moon please oh it's a tower okay yeah okay the tower is not always bad the tower is not all bad okay sometimes you gotta break it down okay so i'm getting a visual of kids with legos you know you've used all of your legos to build this awesome tower okay like all of these legos you use to build this tower right but now you want to build something different now you want to build a town you want to you don't want just one tower you want to build this whole town so in order to do that you've already used all your legos you're gonna have to tear down this tower so that you could build something new and i feel like that's what our focus is on for this new moon it's building something new <clears throat> something lovely i will say something worth celebrating something that makes you happy like i said this is a happy time and i feel like this tower is just an indicator that it's time for something else to kind of be broken down 
in order for this new energy to flow in okay what else what else do we need to know about the focus for Pisces this new moon what else do we need to know about Pisces focus Yes. Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups popped out. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. This is really, um, really being uh, kind of more mature about things. And it's placed below the Lover's card. So I feel like this is, this is a, a relationship that hasn't had time to mature yet. There is, I don't know what my hair is doing. Um, there's, maturity that hasn't quite reached its potential which i feel like i'm mixing up words there they don't always come in order um but i feel like there's there's just a maturity level that needs to be worked on and i feel like maybe that's what that tower is leading to is um kind of breaking down something that wasn't working so that it can reach its maturity kind of starting over like if we're going back to the planting seeds analogy for the moon cycles it's kind of like you know like you planted a seed it didn't reach maturity nothing bloomed so in order to um plant something new you kind of got to dig up what what didn't work right that's kind of where i'm feeling this is going and it kind of comes back to the tree with the apples too so there, 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 it wasn't bearing fruit, so it's time to do something that will actually work out for maturity's sake. And then we have the Two of Cups, too. Okay, the Two of Cups, again, more celebration. Um, with these cards, um, I don't usually read the book that comes with them because I see what I'm supposed to see in the card. For me, some of these cards have these silhouetted kind of figures. Whereas like this one has, you know, their bodies, you can see their faces and their hair, but we have silhouette. And for me with this deck, um, this is more of a spiritual connection. This is internal. This is behind the scenes. It's, you know, the inner workings of the clock is what I get from these kind of like uh, silhouetted figures. So this two of cups for me kind of says that we're working on a connection with ourself. Okay, this is an internal behind the scenes connection that we're working on. Um, and I really do feel like it does bring bring forward um, some kind of connection, some kind of partnership with another person. But really we are, we are working on the internal as well. Okay, so, you know, sometimes we kind of gotta lose to gain and I feel like losing whatever this was is not really, I don't feel like it's a hardship for you. Like this tower card is in the middle of some beautiful positive cards. So I really feel like this this tower moment is not really, um, it's not really that bad. But it is something that is shifting and changing in your life. Um, that way you have the potential, okay, <laughs> I, I they went back in order now. There, they went into order. Um, you have the potential to reach maturity here, and it starts gonna. It's gonna work on the internal too. Um, but we do. We have the two of cups, the three of cups, and the lovers. We have a lot of good um, emotional foundation. I'm hearing um, to start rebuilding from this tower onto. Okay, I'm gonna switch decks here for some clarifying cards. I am moving to universal weight. All right, please tell me about this lover's card. Please tell me about this lover's card. We have the five of swords. Okay, we have the five of swords. So I feel like there, okay, this is kind of why the lover's card is here having to do with that tower okay there is um see how he's it's spoils of war is what i hear with this card um they there was a conflict he got three swords but guess what there's two still down here these guys could come over and pick those swords up and fight back at any point and they're not so i feel like this and again five again 
maybe not again. Fives for me are um, um, reflect change to me. Uh, it's fives are fives are change, uh, just like the tower is change. Um, it's it's a change that kind of depicted image wise as you know these are changing hands like the swords have changed hands um, he's got the spoils of war but he left them behind the swords you know they can have those but they're not taking them so I feel like there's there's a new partnership that's brewing uh, but you you I feel like you've left something behind that was positive you're not creating havoc and then uprooting uh i feel like you left behind like he's even smiling right he's even smiling like thank you thank you for being fair and you know i won these fair and square but i'm gonna be generous and leave these two behind for you but they're just like screw you buddy you won I don't want anything to do with it. I feel like the other the other side of the situation that um, that this tower is reflecting or um, referring to is you know the other side of that is just like they're okay with walking away too. I just don't feel like there's a whole lot of conflict going on as far as moving forward. Shh kids are home um but i feel like it, there's this partnership that's coming is what was supposed to be maybe not in the first place but i feel like it was um you had to go through this this shift this change in order to get to this place okay so there was a process that had to happen um something had to be left behind um in order to move forward but it's a good move forward please tell me about this two of cups please tell me about this two of cups have the ace of swords and the page of swords okay mm, okay so again this is you your spiritual inner work connecting with your higher self your higher guidance and we have swords that are all about communication okay so i feel like there is and the page is also kind of a newness young um immature we're gonna go with immature because we have the maturity over here with the queen right um, this is kind of an immature, new, not immature in a, like, like, in, not in a bad way, not in an immature, like, you're so immature, but in a um, new, fresh kind of way of communicating or thinking. Um, and then, again, Ace is a new, a new idea. There's, there's definitely a, a lot of new thought processes going on here. Um, so yeah, I feel like that focus, that focus we were talking about spiritually within yourself, kind of reconnecting um, spiritually, I feel like definitely is uh, some communication there. There's some communication going on that, that that's what that focus is all about. Communicating with your higher self, allowing yourself, okay, meditation. That's what just dropped in um, meditation uh, to communicate with your higher self. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say because that dropped in while I was talking. They're good at interrupting me. Um, but yes, I feel like the, the focus really should be on communicating how you communicate with yourself um, to grow yourself spiritually um, and emotionally. Uh, but this is like internal emotions. I feel like this is you reconnecting with yourself and there's a lot of communication that you are, that you should be focusing on. And I really feel like this is about you meditating or taking a spiritual kind of journey where you can connect with yourself. Um, so yeah, let's get some more cards real quick. This, oh no, yeah, that one wanted to come out. Is there any advice, any last words of advice for Pisces, please? Okay. 
my last words of advice for Pisces. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Pentacles. 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 Okay. We have this is the one that jumped out. We have the seven, seven of Pentacles. It's kind of just like taking stock of what you already have. You have grown already. You have grown um, financially, if you go by the meaning of the card, you have grown already. Um, and it's time to reflect on that. It's time to take that all in. You're not done, but you're getting there. Um, and, you know, it's really just looking how far you've come. And then right after that, we had the Nine of Pentacles, which is really, really feeling blessed. Okay. You, it's, it's the, it's, coming to that realization, that final stage, um, where you're just feeling very blessed. So, uh, yeah, advice for you is definitely look at all of your blessings, right? That's what I get here. It's time to take a look at all of your blessings. We have some possibly new love coming in for you, reasons to celebrate, a big change that is working out in your favor, according to this right here. It's time for this to mature and blossom and bloom. Um, all because you are working on, you know, your spiritual communicating with yourself on how you want to do things and how you want to be. Um, and it's bringing you to a place where you're grateful for everything that you've done for yourself and everything that has kind of come to you. So I hope that resonates. Please let me know in the comments if it does. I will see you in the next video. And as always, have a blessed day.